So I can select a mutation. Do I not start with the other ones? Really? Oh, so you just unlock them along the way. That's unfortunate. So base impressions are good. It doesn't seem bad. The one thing I would say is I do wish... Uh, I do wish that uh, the pr the like power-ups you got were a little bit more substantial. Increasing damage by 2 or like fire rate by 2% feels really small. Oh well. Because, yeah, I was reading the Steam reviews for this game. Okay, it seems like this character probably has a little bit better, like, traditional gameplay. And as long as I don't, like, pump myself straight into a, uh... An explosive barrel several times over the course of this run, we'll be okay. Huh, is it just me or is this, like, a really small level for some reason? Could just be me, but yeah, the the damage on this, this gun is way better. The main, main thing is we probably don't have the, uh... We probably don't have the effectiveness versus, uh, uh, groups. Like, I can't just charge things anymore. I wonder if that med kit's gonna disappear. Probably is. That's okay. But yeah, I can just blast things with this. Oh! They even have ricochet! Okay, that's helpful. I don't know what that pop-up that says, like, demonier, de demoner? Kind of wish I understood, but that's that's fine. So yeah, it looks like to some degree, what you want to do is obviously go for those new forms. It looks like the med kits don't disappear. That's okay. That's helpful. Okay, and yeah, this character is much better for circle strafing. The uh, the big guy just a little bit on the slow side. What I want to do is kill these guys. Ow. Ugh. Okay, well, we do have a med kit just lying around on the floor. So that'll help at least to some degree. Stay away from the dogs. Oh, didn't even see them. Yeah, those... Those gray knight-looking dudes are... A bit on the rough side. I guess I... No, 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 no. They outranged me. I was going to be like, well, maybe I don't. Hello, Doom Blaster. I'm going to keep holding on to the Doom Blaster for a while, and I'm up to full health somehow. There must have been a health kit in there. Let's wait on uh, talking to the Eye of Tamburino, whatever his name is. I've already forgotten it. I probably shouldn't. But I figure that's... That's something I'll probably truck with a little bit more. We get Frenzy! Oh! Okay, oh, because we're just picking up random, uh, random buffs as we go by. That's what these things are on the ground. Interesting. I feel like I'm picking up a hell of a lot more of them. Uh, this run, compared to the last one. Maybe it's just because I'm killing things faster? Probably. Why was I there? Why, why did I do that? I keep doing this to myself. Okay, so they... It looks like they turn into, like, a bomb thing on the ground. What is that? Regeneration! Oh, helpful! Yeah, we were picking up power-ups like nobody's business. We get Berserk. Unfortunately, these are all going to be gone by the time we get anywhere else. Okay. Let's see, what other forms do I currently have? I don't, unfortunately. What is this? Big armor. Uh, let's see. Increases max health by a bunch. Boots of speed. Movement speed by 2%. Max health by... Yeah, let's go the max health route. Okay, let's go to the Eye of Kara. Because I could probably... I could probably get another form. Orc Frenzy. Sure. In a bid to be less hated, this orc trained to become a fairy. Oh, Orc Fairy. Uh, you didn't know you could train to become a fairy? There's an open access course available online. Sure. I... 
that's an interesting turn of events, kind of, sort of. Okay, yeah, this character, this character is much more my jam. I like the hammer guy. I like the hammer guy a lot, uh, but he lacks the inherent uh, oomph that this character has. And it seems like uh, it seems like killing enemies really quickly gets you a bunch of really nice boosts. I think it's this guy that's giving you all the boosts. Yeah, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. One way or another, like. They are really nice. Why did the other characters not have them? Or maybe I didn't even unlock them until this run, or hell if I know. But effectively, they are game-changing to some degree. Because I'm just mowing through things that I was very much not doing so earlier. Ow, taking damage. Crap. Well, we still have that medkit lying around, and maybe we'll get lucky and get another uh, regenerator perk. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Orc Fairy. Active ability. Looks like a cat, meows like a cat, shoots a rainbow cone of superheated flatulence like a cat? Passive ability. Confuse and amuse with his short range teleport ability. Okay, a little bit slower. It's weird. This is weird. I... You know what this game reminds me of? This actually really reminds me of Monsters and Monocles. I don't know how many of you guys saw that game when it came, uh, when it came out. Uh, but it was fun. Uh, kind of limited upgrade system. Feels similar, in, in my opinion. Like, super similar. Okay, well, we don't get anything. Nope, that's just locking us in. Oh! Oh! That's not a short-range teleport! That's anything but! Yeah, I'm not feeling the Orc Fairy as much as I was feeling the Rat Dude. Rat Dude had, uh... The Rat Dude's got Punch. I think the other characters are kind of lacking. Being able to get power-ups constantly, being able to, like, uh... Bounce your shots off of enemies is also pretty helpful. We get the Demonator. I've also got to remember I've, I do have, uh, fairly decent guns. Uh... Main reason why I'm holding on to them is I feel I figure they're probably the uh my best bet against that first boss. With that what? Ugh, come on. Come on! That's not even that's not even close to fair. But the oh, did I yeah, I was next to an explosive barrel again. Okay, got him. Uh, let's see. Kind of wish this character's beam had a little bit more range, but oh well. Okay, back to the orc fairy. Uh, nope, nope, nope. None of that is worth it. Oh, we have a poison effect to our shots. I don't know how much of a poison effect it is, but we... Yeah, we're farting rainbows out of this cat. And I guess it poisons... Poison fo poisons foes. Ah! My ability to English right now is uh, a little bit on the limited side. Yeah, so the teleport is not an offensive ability. It is... It is 100... What was I stuck on? I have no idea. Is 100% a... Uh, it, it's for repositioning and avoiding. Look at all this treasure that I'm not ever going to be able to pick up, maybe. Let's grab that. Extra attack speed to rainbow farts. It's weird that the, uh, the upgrades don't apply to, uh... The upgrades don't apply to... Multiple, uh... Like, multiple characters. It's weird 
it's weird to have to like focus all of your up upgrades on one uh one character at a time especially because they're so peasly if they're if they're bigger i think it would it make more sense Let's see the teleport is the uh oh shit button yep just gonna throw me off like nobody's business whenever I use it by accident. Okay. Yeah, we have explosive barrels in the area. At least my range on this guy's. These cat farts have range for days, which is helpful. Oh, we're not locked in here. Weird. I was expecting to be, uh, that I, that I wouldn't be able to leave. Yeah, I guess there's no boss per floor. It's just a boss at the end of a run-ish. Okay, do we go to the shop? Let's go to the shop first. Let's get, uh, let's get what we can. Explosive ammo or boots of speed. Actually, I could get both. Alternatively, we could get atomic ammo. Let's do that. A little bit more money and we could actually get uh, another damage upgrade. Let's do that then. Let's go to the Eye of Karan and see if I can get my, uh, my other dude back. Okay, let's see if I can get Slime Ball. Okay, so the atomic ammo is going to make a fairly massive difference on this run. Like, we... That is... That is not a small upgrade. Okay. Keep this going. I've killed... 10 out of 42. Oh, and I'm next to an explosive barrel. Why did I do that? Almost seems like the atomic ammo might actually be... Like, it might just be a better idea to focus all of my attacks... All my attacks, all of my upgrades on the, um... on the uh, starting character, because we've got way more spread. Having a uh, plus five damage on this character make him pretty great. Okay, we'll see. Right, I don't have an escape, and I have to kill that summoner. Oh, God! Well, this is some kind of fresh awful. Ow. Oh, dying. Dying fast. Yeah, so this is probably kind of the red-headed stepchild of uh, Nuclear Throne slash Gungeon. Probably Gungeon. It feels a bit more Gungeon-y, uh, considering the layout and stuff. It's interesting seeing games that are, like, very, very clearly defi defined based on their uh, predecessors. And a little bit more. Got him. Victory is mine. I have Kara. Okay, so we get Slime Ball. It's Slime, Long Range Beam, deals ma ball. Mega Scream damage. And we also get... Let's go back to this. Orc Fairy Resurrected. Okay, well, it's fine. Probably should have actually pulled out my weapons for this, but eh. It's fine. Unfortunately, uh... Helmut itself is... Kind of super wounded. Actually, did I leave a... Did I leave a bunch of... No. All the medkits are gone. There were some medkits there. But they have since... Uh, they have since disappeared on me. Okay, let's go to the shop. Let's see. I have 41. Murphy. No, it's a weapon. I could get the explosive ammo... Yeah, let's get the explosive ammo on Helmut. And then the big med kit on Helmut. There we go. So Helmut's going to do a little bit more damage. Uh, we'll be good. Okay, so Slime Ball. Interesting that it only fires in a cardinal direction. We'll see how this goes. Okay. Uh, well, we've already done everything here. Up against a boss now. Who are we up against? Same guy? Someone new. 
Same guy. All right, the Unforgiving Executioner. This is going to be rough. Though we've got beam attacks this time around. Okay. And yeah, my damage my damage is not atrocious. We do have these like weird flying bat things. I'd love to grab the money. I I almost feel like uh money and stuff should be doled out differently. Okay. Problem. Problem I'm looking at. Uh, he keeps summoning dudes. Also, other problem with this character, his freaking laser makes it almost impossible to see when he's about to get shot. Makes it a uh, smidge harder to fight with this character. Okay, looks like you can outrange the boss, though. Which is good. Oh, stupid tentacles can hurt you. Contact damage is not my friend! Especially against enemies that are straight up faster than me. Okay, let's not be Helmut. Let's be the Orc Fairy. Orc Fairy does have no shit button, so... It's perks. It's also it's just faster. Okay, the fact that I have to charge that up is going to be a bit rough. Get close to this guy. Also a bit rough. Well, we'll see. Come on, Orc Fairy. Didn't take damage from that. Which is kind of really surprising. The boss isn't even halfway down. Ugh! Is that me making those weird horror noises? I think so. Yeah, this isn't gonna go great. This boss is just... just mean. It's like infinite enemies. Very hard to avoid hits. Longer range than me. Okay, now I'm doing some damage to him, but... Uh, uh. Yeah, without like an active dodge roll, it's really tough to avoid some of these. Oh, you can't harm you can't harm those like uh, hydrolisky looking dudes. Oh, good. I do no damage. Well, at least I can avoid. Did I take damage from something? I took damage from something, I think. Fortunately, we've got, like, a shit ton of bats all over the place. Nah! You're right, I did have the other guns that I should probably use. Well, let's just try that again. Last run. How do you unlock dudes? So you could start with them. Because, yeah, that was, that was one of the things I read in the reviews. That, uh, unlocking new characters in this game is, like, downright impossible to some degree. Okay, uh, let's see. So we are playing the rat guy again. I figure he's probably... I did die with him, but he does feel like he's probably my best bet for success against the, um... Uh, against that, like, Hydra boss. Which is... oof. They keep expecting there to like uh, be like a progression system or something to just pop out of pop up out of nowhere and be like, oh yeah, this is how you can get like uh, some sweet upgrades for your characters or something. Try swapping your weapons some more. I actually totally forgot during the the boss fight in the uh, during that last boss fight there that I could swap weapons. I wasn't paying attention. I was I was too busy just trying to leverage what I had. Uh, Immediately on hand, so I kind of forgot about the other stuff. Ugh, you take a lot of damage. Is this better or worse than Gungeon? Kind of depends. Here, I'm gonna quickly check the controls. Yep, there is no dodge roll, there is no dodging, period. 
yeah, it's kind of super subjective. Uh, personally, I would say Gungeon is probably better. This isn't bad, though, if you're looking for something Gungeon-y. Because, like, Gungeon wasn't terrible. Uh, I didn't like it as much. Let's see, so am I going to give this guy all the buffs and save him for last? Maybe. Just going to hang out back here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, my shotgun blast is, uh... Actually pretty damn good. Oh, we're taking damage from probably these things just biting me at the ankles. At least that S character is just so strong in comparison to the other ones. Let's just not lose him by chuck him into an explosive barrel this time around. Okay, so let's go shopping first, see what I can get. Small armor. Extra HP might not be bad. Stuff like... The weapons seem really good. The health upgrades might be nice. I can't afford them, though. Let's go to the Eye of Kara. Oh! There's more to this dungeon. I was wondering why there was so little. Because, yeah, it felt very... Uh, it felt way too small. I was really curious about that. Okay, blow him up. I gotta get better at collecting my money as we go by, though. This is something I'm not very good at. Alright, so we get a... Dual revolvers. Uh, there's only one revolver there. I'm kind of confused about that, actually. Let's see. Trapper's Delight. Really? Okay, uh, let me... Let me finish this run. Here, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna guts it with the Rat King. Uh, seeing as the first boss seems... Viable. I'm just gonna finish this run quick, and then we can... We can play that. Why did I do that? Oh, no. This, everything is going bad. I got distracted, hooked myself behind an explosive barrel, because they don't stand out particularly well. Usually with explosive barrels in these games, it's kind of stupid obvious. This time, not so much so. Well, let's try the dual revolver while we're here. Okay, so the answer is dual revolvers fire twice at the same time. Oh, Okay. Looks like you kind of turn the weird mage guys into, uh... Into, like, little bouncy happy faces. As they die. It still feels like, uh, getting your upgrades probably on the, uh, the main character is actually the way to go. Oh no, my money. It goes away so fast. Okay. Let's go see what I can grab. Probably die, probably lose. Pretty quick. Uh, let's see, do you have upgrades? I can't even, I can't even afford anything. All right, that's good. Let's just grab the, this med kit. I'm not going to do the Eye of Kara. I don't have time for it right now. Probably not actually going to succeed at it either, honestly. Oh no. Yeah, corners. Usually, circle strafing around corners and stuff works really well in these games. Not in this one, though. This one makes it a little bit more, uh, punishing to do so. Oh, no! Those do 50 damage? This game is really mean. Holy shit. Can I go to the shop right now? I might actually be able to go to the shop right now if I wanted to. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of go around. And what do we got? Can I get explosive ammo? We need to get explosive ammo for this character. Boots of speed, a little bit less so. And let's grab another small med kit. 
This is the only thing I'm going to survive with. Okay, so my damage is up to 7 per tick. I'm already down to 65, what the hell? Well, the extra the extra damage on this character really does up his DPS like nobody's business. Wow. Okay, so I think part of the reason why I'm getting hit so much is obviously I'm not dodging as well as I can, but I'm squeaking hitboxes and they're bigger. Like, the hitbox for this character is larger than the appearance of him. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, so I will, like, try and squeak through a projectile or, like, an enemy gap, and I'll immediately take damage from it. Uh, because there is no... There's no grace period or, or like, smaller hitbox w with the character. It's just... That is just... That is just it. Yeah. Like, the projectiles don't even properly impact on the character half the time. It's... It's, uh, more of a... Oh, good. My money is disappearing. I really hate that about this game. Ugh. Alright, whatever. 